Hello everyone, it's Melinda, Falls Tea Thrill Thrill, and tonight I'm going to do a pull for a friend that um, has several different parts to it. The first one is going to be um, past lives, or past life or past lives, whatever comes through. Okay, and I have already cleaned the cards with a, a frankincense and myrrh, so... Save a little bit of time there. So, let's get started. Hope everybody's doing well. While I'm doing a little shuffling or whatever, if you guys want to give a thumbs up, that'd be that'd be that'd be awesome. Thank you. Cold, isn't it? Mmm. Mmm. That 10 degrees sounds real cold to me. <laughs> I did get up to, uh, it was probably close to 40 today during the day while the sun was shining real good. But that, uh, cold breeze, wow. It didn't feel like before. Well, it did before we left. My sister Cheryl came out today. And that was an awesome visit. Okay. Past life or past lives. Whatever wants to come out. Whatever wants to come out. Here we go. I'm going to lay them down and then throw some more cards on top of it. Got to do five. <laughs> Let me spread this out a little bit. Okay. Let's see get back over there. I have to spread these out a little bit more because the golden throw is just a little bit bigger than these. Okay. Might get a little bit of snow for Christmas. Yeah. Some people might get a lot of bit of snow for Christmas. Then there's others that's going to be nice and warm. That snow is pretty though. Right there. It's cold, but it's pretty. Don't do that to the carpet. These are the Akashic Records.
Okay. Okay, let's see what these things have to say. First deck. I'm going to go under because that was the first one. Something to do with your finances. We'll get us a little story. And these are those rainbow reflective. So finances. Bring love into the situation. Finances and love into the situations. The King of Forces from the Akashic Records. That is a beautiful card. And the sun. Wow. The first two cards, I thought maybe you were a whore. <laughs> I'm playing. <laughs> okay. Um, wow. You're very powerful. You're a very powerful person. You had fluent money to you just said you had a lot of love in you. And with your wealth, you made sure everybody was taken care of. Even some people that you didn't even know. They needed help. Let's see if we can get some more on the story. Or it wouldn't have been. Never mind, that was just a joke anyway. The arts. All I know is that people's got to do whatever they got to do to survive. And I shouldn't have said that joke, and I truly apologize. It wasn't really a joke, was it? I didn't mean anything by it. I really didn't. Just trying to be funny, that's all. Okay, so with the Moonology, a time to give rather than take. Yes. So in the arts, and you were a giver. The Nine of Wands. You did have to go through some battles, though. Let's see if we can get some more on that. It might come out throughout the cards. Setting your course. I think you may have um, had to do some battling with maybe some pirates. Maybe. You had to slay some, and so did your people. <laughs> you told them all they had to do was ask, and you would have gave it to them. But they came upon you with force. Mm. Okay, 
See what the next poem has to say. Unrequited love. Yes, you just full of love. Just full of love. Very generous. Look at the bigger picture. I bet you still carry that love over to this life. You know, sometimes we only see a small amount of things at a time and looking backwards. Time isn't the same, but you've made it this far. Okay, the hanged man. Look at things just a little bit different. Looking at things in a different perspective. And looking at the big picture. I'm hearing that you had to do that with the, with the people that was... Or else they would have taken your life and all your worldly goods. But you were a good man. Okay, Kaushik Records, Hilarion. Yes, I believe that you really had, you had spirit with you, and you believed, you believed in something greater than yourself. And that's probably why you had so much love inside you. Okay. Leaving or travel. That goes with that uh, ship's card. Leaving or travel. Setting your course. The arts, finances, and requited love. Yeah. Let's get some more of that. Your dreams need a practical plan. So, maybe you looked at things just a little bit different and rerouted your, your thoughts on the travels that you done in this life. Find inequities, find inequities. I don't know what that means. The Fool. This is all about a journey. The start of a new journey. Looking within. And not really... Not really planning anything. Just going and doing your dreams. I think at first whatever... whatever I, I already know, I don't know, but what I heard was something before I even pulled the first card as I was shuffling. But I want to wait till the last pile to say what I heard. But, um, huh. yeah, okay. Clearing the way. Yeah. I think there was things that you did more prepared, 
hoping that things didn't, you made sure you were prepared when you was going on these journeys. There was something that you done so that way they wouldn't come aboard anymore. Uh, cannons, maybe. Maybe cannons. So that way you kept them off and kept your people safe. <clears throat> Excuse me. Health. Yeah, kept your people safe. Because the people that was trying to take your stuff wasn't good people. And said that's how they got their wealth. They may have been doing it because they were hungry. But they could have found another way besides robbing and killing. So you protected your own. A personal issue issue reaches resolution. There we go. That's just what we just said. But in better words. Or different words, I should say. The Ace of Swords. New beginnings. You made you made sure. You made sure that you guys didn't have to draw swords on the ship. looked at things different. You figured it out. You were a thinker. And you remained balanced. This is what kept you balanced. Because you didn't feel right seeing the blood. Feeling the slice going across somebody, but you, you did it for yourself. What I heard in the very beginning of all of this was that that you was like worked for the king, like you was like right there and you did his bidding. Because first I heard was king and I thought, well, maybe he, he was a king. But through these cards, this was just, I believe, one life. And you did the king's bidding, and you went out on journeys, and you collected fine arts through trade. And that's and you and you was you didn't have no problem with money, food, good life, a good woman, and she fought by your side, and you always told her to. Go, go down and she wouldn't. She brought love into the situation. That's why, okay. <laughs> she told you at one point that she may be a whore in your bed, but she's going to fight by your side. <laughs> and you guys stayed and remained travel companions throughout this whole, your whole life. You grew old together. You had a good life. And you kept your beliefs. She stayed strong in them. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to separate out these readings, do the past life and then the others, okay? And um, so that way it doesn't, won't take as long. But um, some people don't care for the really, really long ones. This is already about 20 minutes. So I love you guys very much. Mwah! I hope you enjoyed that. And um, that was pretty exciting, man. In my head, I see it all playing out. Hmm. A very cartoonish brain. And I seen it all playing out. And it was just awesome. Yeah. That was beautiful. That was an awesome past life. 
Okay, you guys take care. And um, I'll see you in a few minutes. Mwah!